kind of here. Look at that. I just I just killed two blasters with one shot. <laughs> All right. Hello, Vashkor. So today we're here to see the compression burster and find out together. Is it good? Oh, man. So this is exciting, man. I am a bow-aholic. I love the bows, man. I love bows. I love them so much. And we have the hydraulic bow has now come Oh man, oh man, it has come in to save the world. You can buy it right now in the weekly store as, as of the making of this video. And oh man, get it, 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 get it. Obviously, it doesn't matter if this is good or good or bad. This is a super rare, super rare weapon. And we all know it's going to be good. It's a bow, bro. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. So these are the perk loadout for the compression burster. We have a double crit damage weapon, two crit damage, crit damage, crit rate with damage. Um, you do have some options on this one. I was looking at this. Obviously, you're going to go with crit damage. These are your only two options for crit damage. So obviously, we're going to go crit damage. You can take any element that you want. Uh, element energy, if you want to have a jack of all trades. Uh, pick a specific element if you want to be good at countering one of the, one of the elements. Uh, you can go with physical if you just want to hunt uh, takers and blasters and propane and lobbers and stuff. Uh, that's what I took. Uh, I love I love physical. If I, if I don't have a lot of options, I'm, e I'm either going to go with physical or energy. Uh, I decided to go with physical on this one. Of course, we need one crit rate to activate our crit damage on here. And the last one, um, we actually had a, had a choice between uh, crit rate on either of these perks. So I looked at them. I'm like, okay, well, uh, so on this one here, it's good for me. It's going to be crit rate or damage. And then I go and look at this one. And I'm like, okay, this one's going to be also crit rate or damage. You could do damage to slowed and snared because this weapon will cause slow and snare. But that means that you're going to do less damage on your opening shot. And as this weapon is a is is a charge weapon uh, that does extreme amounts of damage, you're not going to shoot things more than once, typically. Therefore. Uh, doing damage to slowed and snared is really not ideal. It's much better to go with flat damage. Um, so that's what I went with. We went with damage, crit rate, crit damage, crit damage, and I decided to go with physical element on this one. All right, Migs, we're going to be using a compression bow. Here's yours. Okay, so let's see here. So this is the new bow. This thing, it, it loads real slow, and it has a little bit of arc to it. Oh, whoa! Holy moly, my first shot makes 1.8 million. No. What? Yeah, a 1.8 million crit. It doesn't actually say the number on my, on my hits most of the time. Oh, wow. First shot, 1.8 million crit. That's crazy. Damn, bro. Boombo doesn't do that. Dude, this thing is strong. God. Boombo, get out the way, son. Get out the way. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. We got a... Um, this is, okay, ready? I'll watch you do that. Ready, Migs? Ready? Oh, damn. It didn't work the first shot. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm loading up. I'm loading up. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> One shot kill. One nice. shot kill on the mimic. Oh my god. That's awesome. Boom. Oh, pushing back so far. I wonder when we get snapped. What kind of boombo is this? Physical. This thing does some no joke damage, Meigs. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> bah! Turn and snap. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Oh, dang it. So you have to you oh have to God. really pull it back. Like the the longer you let it yeah. you let it cook for, the more damage it does. If you let it go prematurely, okay. this thing is like Ugh. so. The damage per second on this thing is not thing. great because it takes so long to to load up the the shot. But oh, the shot's strong. 
somehow so steer strong. It that way. That's cool, man. This has a very different feel than the Boombo. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's heavy, man. It's a like heavy, clunky weapon. It Even feels, like, sh when feels you good. Scope it, it's pretty. It's pretty fast. Yeah. One oh, shot of taker. One, one shot of taker. One shot of blaster. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, Storm bro. Storm chest, guys. <laughs> oh, baby! I mean, he's loaded up. Ammo to the, to the boombo. Is what? Oh, it's sniper it's ammo. ammo. Oh, wow, it uses sniper ammo. Interesting. That's fascinating. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> shot, shot the arrow right <laughs> up her bunny butt. Help. That'll make him hop. Oh, wow! Okay, now I don't- I gotta test something because I shot him in the eyes okay. and it went through. Which is yeah. super hard to do. The shield. I don't know if it went through the shield or if I shot through the eye hole. I might have shot through the eye okay. hole. Oh, which is insanely hard to do typically with bows. Wow, I saw a number means. I was like, oh. wow. It was like 1.6 million, I think. Has more impact, yeah, way more impact. Yeah, this thing definitely knocks him, knocks him flying. I think hits hard. Wow, man, 1.6 mil. Wow, it, you know, it doesn't seem to have any range problems, Meeks. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of house behind you, Bash. Turn around, turn around. Got him. <laughs> Get a photo of you. Oh, jeez, man. 1.6 mil. That seems to be the, the top end. Quite a few hits. Oh, you're not critting yet. Oh, did I hit? Did I do damage through the shield? You did. You did. You did. Dude, did you wow. This shield? thing can do damage through a, a riot the shield? shield. Oh, my God. You sure you didn't hit it through the thing? Oh, oh my that's god. That's so crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just never know, man. Weapon. You never know. You can never judge. You gotta use, that's right. why you always gotta do gameplay first. No matter what it says, no matter what yeah. the stats look like. You know, tr try to read it. And he's keep behind you. Try it, try it now, man. Boom! Oh, it's not working. Oh, I shot through the through the lens. Oh, so you have to shoot through the lens. Okay. I'm level right here. I'm gonna try it on mine. Whoa! Okay, I shot it through the lens. Through the lens? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what's unique about this bow then? Okay. Okay, so this bow is just crazy. What this thing does is it has crazy impact, so it knocks enemies flying. That's assuming they survive, because this thing actually gets more damage the longer you hold it. And so when fully charged, this thing does way more damage than the boom bow can do. So it has a very different, very slower feeling to it. It takes a lot longer to charge up, but again, you're gaining damage the longer you charge it. So the yeah. thing has just insane... Oh, I got infinite bees, makes I'm dead. Oh, um... Here, pick me up. I'm like, why am I taking damage? So yeah, fires really slow, charges really slow, hits like a truck, tons of damage, tons of impact. And that is what this. Over the Sorry. Did you 
choose to use this over the Boomba? I like this more than the Boomba. This is more my style. S it's like slower, bigger shots. You like to be like away from the enemies and shoot people far away, or? You don't have to be far away. I'm I'm point blank range right now. All right. right. That's the beauty of the bow. Is you're fully. Do you always charge it, or do you like to uh, always charge? To shoot it. The second I, I release I release it, I'm already have my my I'm knocking the next one. See the great thing about this one is about this weapon and all bows is that you can move around, right? And it doesn't affect your accuracy at all. Does it have any sort of area of effect around around? Oh yeah, look at you can you you can I just killed a an energy yeah. shield through the shield. Oh, so okay. this guy this guy's bubbled up. You fire near yeah. the top. You aim high, and you can actually kill. Cool. You can actually do slash damage through, right, right through. Oh wow, that base took some hits. All right, let's see what it does against the mini boss. Trap vulnerable. It does nothing against the mini boss. <laughs> oh dang! I feel like the boombo. Um, it has oh, a straighter. Diddly. A straighter. Look yes, that's right. This one does have more of an arc to it. It but this doesn't one, fire. That, yeah, I, sh I shoot. It, I shoot into the sky. It has more of an arc. Yeah. Yeah, it has a little bit more arc on it. Not a lot, just a, a little bit of a down curve. I like this one better, personally. This is more my my flavor. I like I like bigger shots, right? Bigger hits. I'd rather fire slower with higher, more oomph. I think I like the boom more. I like shooting at their feet and just like shooting them really rapid fire. You do that anyway. The difference is. When I want to load up and take out a blaster, I can, right? Yeah. I get what you mean. Like I just, I just one or two shot, like two shot if I, if I one shot if I crit, two shot if I don't crit. Oh, it's so dope, Migs! It's so dope. <laughs> Compared to like the Boombo, this does quite a bit less damage and headshot damage if you compare the stats side by side. We're gonna do a, just a quick comparison right here if you compare. Uh, the Boombo and the Compression Burster, as you can see, the Boombo actually takes, you know, takes the win in terms of damage and headshot damage. It also has a higher range. Um, now, the the stats that the the compression kind of takes the win in um, is impact. You have over nine thousand impact. Over nine thousand. Over nine thousand. <laughs> Whereas. Uh, Clearly, the Boombo has under 9,000, so uh, vastly inferior. <laughs> Not by much. It's, they're very, very close. Um, but uh, yeah, the range is 25,000 on the Boombo, and the range on the Compression Burster is 10,000. Now, I didn't really find that to have any real impact on my damage dealt, because even when I was taking long bomb shots, I was still hitting for insane massive crits that didn't seem to do any difference. So I, I don't really think that range actually has anything to do with it. So really, uh, the difference between this, these two weapons uh, is actually comes down to one word in the description. So sniper rifle bow hydraulic fires an arrow that drops over time. Same as the boom bow. Deals high impact damage in a half tile radius. Same as the boom bow. Now here's where they differ. Damage range and velocity increases with charge time the boombo does range and velocity increases with charge time not the damage what does that mean that means this weapon has insane insane damage that is amplified by charge time that's why this weapon will out damage the boombo for single shot mega blast that's what this is for it's to charge it for the damage. So that's the key. That is the key. That's why this thing does so much more damage than the boom ball when shooting at really big target targets because that one little word right there, damage increases with charge time. Absolutely amazing. So if you want to do the maximum amount of damage with this weapon, uh, you're going to want to use a beast hero loadout. And this is the beast of the beast, man. Rabbit Raider Jonesy. He puts all his eggs. <laughs> Into one oh basket. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. It's cheesy, but it, it's funny, huh? <laughs> so anyway, he puts all his eggs into one basket. He is the sniper critical champion of the world. 
this guy gets a massive 225% sniper critical damage bonus, which is how we're going to hit those big, massive one-shot kill shots. He's the king, man. If you want to do the most amount of damage with a sniper rifle, which is what this is, it's classified as a sniper rifle, Rabbit Raider Jonesy is your man. Um, we took Blast in the past with uh, extra armor and extra damage. We took Quick Scope for extra sniper damage. We took Survivalist for some healing. We took Locked and Reloaded to increase our damage after a reload, which is after every shot, because every shot is a reload. You only have, you know, one shot reload, one shot reload. So you basically, this is the most amount of damage you can squeeze, you know, out of of the bow. And really, really, we're really pushing for those one shot kills. That's what we want. This thing can completely annihilate, I mean, annihilate blasters and takers and, well, pretty much anything. Even even a taker or like a, a smasher is going to get absolutely smashed. You're not going to get a one-shot kill, but you can do extreme, extreme amounts of damage with this beastie, beastie, beastie weapon. Okay, so the last thing that you want to note on this gun is actually... Um, Okay, so I really like the material the material cost because a lot of assault rifles require you to, even sniper rifles require efficient mechanical parts. This one actually uses twine as one of its core components. So you use uh, quartz, sunbeam, and then twine. All, all weapons fall into one of three categories. Uh, mechanical parts, twine, or uh, or uh, powder, like oxidized, oxidized mineral powder. And this one falls under the pistol category in terms of crafting. Pistols cost twine, shotguns cost powder, and pretty much everything else costs mechanical parts, including obliterators and most sniper rifles. This one is not, is, is just like the Boombo, it does not cost uh, mechanical parts, which I love. I love, I love, I love. It's so good. The other thing that you want to note is the ammo type. This one actually has heavy ammo, which is sniper ammo, unlike the Boombo, which uses shotgun ammo, even though this is an explosive weapon, just like the Boombo, they gave it a different ammo type, which is really, really cool, because if you actually use two types of weapons, and you're running low on ammo, and you don't you know, you don't want to take the time to switch it up or whatever. It's just nice because this this way you actually can burn through stockpiled ammo and vary up what kind of ammo supplies you are depleting. Uh, and I have a feeling that with the Vindertech bow uh, being released pretty much at the same time as this one, um, I feel like they're going to be all three ammo types. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm, I'm, my money is on energy for the Vindertech, heavy for the, the hydraulic, and, of course, shotgun for the boom bow. So very, very exciting. This is a very different weapon than you guys are used to. It still has all the advantages of a bow, being able to move and shoot. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of this video, what you thought of this weapon. Let me know if there's any videos you'd like me to do in the future. And rock and roll, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the Vash Core. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay. Yeah.